Light, I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then, reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab- JUMP AND HIT THE CIRCLE BUTTON! Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button. Jump and press past. the circle button! I'm on it. You have to jump and press the circle button. Each and every single time. Every day of every month of every year. That's all you do. You jump and hit the frickin' circle button! If you don't know how to do a thing, jump and hit the circle button. We'll see if it, it's probably gonna work out for you. I've projected holographic markers near interactive objects like this satellite dish. When you're near these markers, press the circle button to use the object. I appreciate the fact that you actually, the, the game first <laughs> actually was willing to explain those. the next waypoint into your theme bask imager. Remember, click the L3 button to locate your next objective. Yeah, it's right over there. I ain't no blind raccoon man. Come on now. What do you take me for? Shubadadoo! Shubadi, shubadoo! Like, most people would probably just put, you know, oh, it's a holographic marker thingy here, it's just so you people know that you can mess around with it, or they put some sparklies. Okay, only one more to go. Activate your leak fast imager by pressing the L3 button to find the last dish waypoint. Remember, the view is always better from a rooftop. Bentley, I swear. I get that your heart is in the Why right you place. Can hold down the R1 button while walking to break into a fast run, but be careful. As this is sure to be loud enough to alert any guards in the vicinity. I am 100% aware of the downsides to running. <sighs> it's hard to the right place, but we've been at this for a couple years now. We know what's up. Anyway, boom. Get yourself some database. Huzzah! On a night's work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head up for the cellar. Easy peasy, squeezy deasy. Boy up! I've got a pretty good lay of the land now. <laughs> At least I sure as heck better at this point. Right. The cellar! The wine cellar, because, you know, French. Oh, hey, Murray. Good to see you, little buddy. I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bummer. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back. Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. Use your unchecked aggression and rage problems! I will hit things with my stick! Ancestral Cane. I mean, that's what it is, but you know. Murray hits things really, really, really hard. Let me lower those bars for you. There you go. To get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump. Then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. Now you might wonder, Looks like you're on your how? From here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. Someone under how? How you? How you do that? How you do the double jump? That's that. That's just breaking physics right there. And yet, if I could have one ability from any video game ever, I just would like the ability to double jump. I don't. I can't think of any practical uses for it. I don't. I can't. I don't really jump much in day-to-day -day life. In fact, if we could really talk about that for a second, video games gave me the false impression that jumping was something that we as a species would have to do much more often. Turns out, if you do it too much, you just hurt your knees. But nobody wants to see the Super Mario Brothers game, where Mario has to go to a freaking physician because he's blown out both his kneecaps. Lost his dang, he tore his dang quads. The point is, I don't care if it's impractical or useless or any other such thing. I want to double jump, dang it! In order to get past these lasers, you need to crawl under that table. To do that, get near the table and press the circle button. The circle button. It's 
always the circle button. Anyway, this was kind of a bad idea to put this table here, don't you think? I feel like, I feel like somebody should have noticed all of these. But whatever. Uh, and then there's this fellow. Let's... These flashlight guards are too tough to fight head on. Crawl under the tables to sneak around him. That's the plan, Sam. And they somehow do not actually see the full-grown raccoon man crawling underneath the tables. I guess I don't have my instant knockout move yet. Alright, fine. Then you shall live this day. Because I don't want to take the chance of hitting that guy only to hit, have hit the wrong button. This air vent leads into Dimitri's nightclub. Hit the circle button to I'm already in the vent, Bentley. I appreciate your assistance with circle buttons, but Lordy Lou. In order to shut down those yellow lasers, you'll need to take out that guard. Sneak up behind him and press the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then the square button to slam and finish him off. Can do. The triangle button, then the square button. I mean, we're getting daring and adventurous these days. That wasn't- I didn't have to use the circle button once for that. There we go. Pretty sure I could have done that without learning. <laughs> without having- because I, I could I could run and double jump and all that stuff without being told ahead of time, but... Again, I was not about to take the chance. I probably would have hit the triangle button twice, and that would have been a problem. That wouldn't have gotten the job done at all. Give me all your money! So much loose change in this place. That sneak attack slam move only works on guards who haven't seen you. Wait until this guy turns his back, and then let him have it. Okay. Luckily, he can only see as far as his flashlight lets him. If as long as I stand just outside of its beacon of light, he can't see me. Oh, Lord. For half a second, I thought he was about to see me. But then I defeated him! And yellow goodbye, good sir. I'm just gonna grab all the coins. It's okay to steal from these people because they're evil. That's what I tell myself. If you get in a fight with those rats, and I will. Sneak attack won't work. It's purely a stealth move. Yeah, but it only it only work as a stealth move once. After that, I mean. The others are gonna hear and see me slam jam a fool. You you don't just stand by idly while a guy freaking takes one of your buddies to the to the freaking eh, the slam zone. You know what I mean? It's a space jam. Come on and slam. Thank you. Shabadoo. No, I gotta be honest. I feel a lot more in my element playing this game than I do a lot of other games I play on my channel. It's what I started with, you know? Not this game specifically, or even the first Sly Cooper, although it was one of the first games. But I just do better with the cartoony stuff. It's nice to switch things up every now and then, but... I feel like I should really probably... Maybe stick with what I'm... What I feel the most comfortable with sometimes. I mean, that's basically why I, I wanted to play this so much. Just, I, I really wanted to be back in my comfort zone. I've been playing a lot of games blindly. A lot of games that are rated T or M. So much stuff, I swear. Aha! Another air vent! Judging by that angle, it should lead to the printing press room. Well, that's very handy and convenient now, isn't it? I feel like the more mature stuff should be, you know, the more special stuff. Oh, hey, there you are, Dimitri. I see you. Jackpot! The heart of Dimitri's operation! Head for those windows and take some reconnaissance photos. On it! Tap the R3 button, you know, click the right analog stick to bring up your binocular. Look at this funky lizard. He's already outfitted with a spy cam. Slide. Use the right analog stick to zoom in and out on photo targets. Tap the R1 button to take a picture when you've got a good shot. Yeah, but I need to actually, yeah. 
You need to tell me what my my what, what I'm supposed to be taking pictures of. All right, first things first, generator. That generator seems to be powering the security systems down here. Please don't blow it up. The management asked really, really nicely. Over here, we've got the tail feathers. Ingenious. Dimitri's using the clockwork tail feathers as printing plates. Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out. Unlimited forged money. Which he uses to, f by uh, being, you know, he funnels it through his nightclub. That's pretty smart. But man, once you know more about this guy, it sounds smarter than you'd think you should be able to do. Alright, I feel like I could get a better shot. I don't get any bonuses for better shots, but come on. At least let me get the majority of your character model into this picture, dude. There we go. That's our target, Dimitri, professional lounge lizard and international forger. Who's I? I know it's life. Head back to the safe house and we'll cook up a plan of attack. I do like plans. Who's ah? Now what do we do? The recon photos are a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped up patrols, the sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Handy. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. Obie cabby. I can do those things. That being said... Do I have enough for my, uh, smoke bomb? Oh, just barely I don't. Just barely I do not. That is so lame and awful. You can bring up your Binocucon by pressing the R3 button. You know, the right analog stick that adjusts the camera. Yeah. Click it to look through your binoculars. They'll be useful for finding the new job starts I've placed around town. Plus, they'll let you read the job title. Let's see, can I? Oh, I can pickpocket now! Thank goodness. Give me all your cash. Give me all your cash. Give me all your ca Give me the thing you keep in your fanny pack. Thank you. Silver watch. Rot row. And I have made a terrible error this day. Good day, sir. Good day to you all. I have a mission to do. I just intercepted an email from Dimitri. He's ordered his guards to ring the boat's bell when the coast is clear. Coast is clear for what? That I'm uncertain. Ring the bell and follow him without being seen. Then maybe we'll find out what he's hiding. It's certainly a possibility. Ding! Please don't look up. My favorite thing about Dimitri is that this awesome song follows them wherever we go. Or where he goes, specifically. I'm a following you, my man. He's gonna, yeah, he talks a lot of weird stuff. He's, I, th I think he's talking about getting, gotten the juice. You don't hear nothing about nobody, you big old lizard man. You, you per, per, purple and green, that's a weird combo. I'm just saying. Almost all the music in the Sly Cooper series is much more ambient than actual, like, music music. So Dimitri's song really stands out among the crowd. Boop, bap, ba doop, boop, bow. Just gonna keep on waiting. Gotta be real stealthy. 
Which is hard, because this dude's tall! Um... Okay... Sure hope you're not gonna go anywhere, uh... Further downward, I, I, I don't really have any options for that. Okay, I guess I've got no choice! Yep! Oh, that's not good. Okay, now he's over there. You won't be able to see what Demetri is doing from up on that water tower. Go down for a closer view. Mm, I mean, that sounds like a terrible idea. Keep it smooth, baby. But okay. Walk tall. Okay. I took too long, I guess. And now I have to follow him the entire way back. Awesome! I'm not 100% sure... How? <laughs> it's just... With, with the guy... Okay. I guess I was close enough this time. Alright, sure. It might be, or it could have been completely pointless. These are the questions we must ask ourselves. Ah, that one needs Murray. All right, well, then let's get this other slime mission out of the way. Then we can be the Murray. All right, you don't have anything especially valuable on your person, but I will still rob you all the same. And Odale! Or Udalale, whatever. Make a no difference to me. It's all, all the way over there. Alright, don't mind me. Do you have anything valuable? Uh, nope. You can tell if they, a guard has something uh, really handy dandy or worth uh, stealing, like a watch or a, a, a pen. I remember, I remember watches and pens. I don't know if there's anything else other than that, but the point is. It's, uh, if their pockets are all glowy. Otherwise, they'll just have normal coins. Which are good, too. They're just not worth nearly as much. You saw nothing, you big stinky do. Oh, yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. See, this guy's got a shiny thing in his butt, which means... Which means... Free watch! And I don't want to alert anybody, so I'm just gonna sneaky sneak my way right over here if it's all the same with you. Why? I managed to outfit this forged painting with a bug. I need you to sneak into Dimitri's office and swap it with the original. Nice. So we'll be able to listen in on his conversations. Yes, I thought things might go more smoothly with an ear on the inside. Just be careful with the fine art. Take any damage and the painting's ruined. And you're gonna you're telling me he's not gonna notice anything weird about a Sly Cooper painting hanging in his office? I mean I've I got a lot of posters and stuff all over my walls, but I feel like I would notice if one of them just suddenly like appeared out of nowhere. Unless he already had a painting of Sly Cooper in his office, as the mission statement seems to imply. Which raises even more questions. Stop. If you leave this area, you'll abandon your current job. But I'm, I'm heading towards the thing. I'm heading towards the, the little marker thingy that you said I gotta go to, so... Chill your dill. But no, for realsies, does that mean he just happened to have a Sly Cooper painting in his office? How and why and where? <laughs> How did he get it? Where did he get it? Why does he have it? How does he know who I am? You have a gold watch! That's even better than a silver one. Why certain hunks of metal are more valuable than others, I know not. But I am not here to question such things. I am merely here 
get things done. No. I don't know if a single rock will be able to destroy this painting or not. Let's hope not! As I siddle, siddle, siddle my way towards salvation. Also, let's just hope this guy's not smart enough to, you know, alert literally anybody about the fact that he just saw somebody climb in here. <laughs> ah, the nightclub music in full blast. Give me this noise. Dress down and let me shine on you. The schematic indicates that door is locked from the inside. As most That's doors right. tend to be. I never was one for the direct approach. Well, because the indirect approach is way up there through that air vent. Alrighty. Easy peasy. We've got janitors. That's easy enough to get around. Hello? Bing, 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 bing. Okay, well, guess I can't go that way. I'm gonna have to go all the ding dang way around. I have to bring it around town. Okay, can't sit on that. I guess that would make things a little too easy, wouldn't they? Alright, don't want to get into combat. Wait for this guy to maybe turn his back. Or maybe he'll end up just seeing me. The answer to my question was yes, the janitor saw me. There we go. Combat is incredibly ill-advised, but it still works as a last resort. Hmm. Why do you have so many sweepers just sweeping around oh wait this is this is ankle deep water <laughs> for some reason I thought it was a whole lot deeper than that and therefore more of a threat I was mistaken Hello? you don't see a lot of laser grid technology on the uh, on the floors usually it's coming off the walls there you know. Alrighty then. I do enjoy that there are sometimes villain, I don't know, announcement type situations. Just the boss talking to his henchmen via the PA system. That's just some clever stuff. Alright, here we go. Doo -ba -doo -boo -doo -boo. I think I went the wrong way. I have confused my own brain. Yeah, I, w I came from that direction and for, yet for some reason. Oh well, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. My old brain farts aside. I can make it. And hopefully no one hears the sound of me smashing an air vent open. Usually that's considered pretty loud. Unless this club music is actually supposed to be playing through the speakers at all times. In which case, well, that's, uh, that's their fault, not mine. No, that's a picture of the scream. I'm going to be replacing a picture of the scream with a picture of Sly Cooper. And, and and we're just going to assume that he's not going to question it. It's not like it's an inconspicuous object. It's the only object of note around this location. Nice work, Sly. The bug in position. If you manage to get the original painting back to me in one piece, I could sell it through my internet connection and make us a ton of coins. I would like that very much. Okay. Well, I've got the painting. And there's the safe. Boo, yeah. Of higher level math, but I believe the code to Dimitri's vault is 
Beep, boop, pop, pop, pop. Hey, yeah, give me that thing. It's mine now. I love Sly's face. He's like, what the hell is this? I just, I don't know. There's just something intensely funny to me about that. It's like, what the hell is this thing? That being said, let's see. How do I look at stuff like that? Select? Select! There we go. The knockout dive. Yes, there we go. There we go. That's one of his original moves. We got it back! Not the bad, not the bad at all. Alright. Now I must leave this accursed place. Stealthiest man to ever stealth. Except I'm a raccoon. I'm a raccoon man. Later, haters! <laughs> To the best of my knowledge, I think you can actually go back there anytime you want. Yeah, okay. So. Getting spotted by the flashlight guards. If you get caught, you can run away by holding down the R1 button. Oh, can I? It's the exact same button I use to run when I'm not being caught. Crazy! Alright, that being said... Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a Murray mission, but I need to get to the safe house where it is safe, so I can sell this thing. Oh, but! All right, well, never mind. This has gone poorly. Oh, well, nothing for it, I guess. I hope that guy's happy. He literally just destroyed the scream. Or whatever that thing is actually called. That being said... I do have some watches I can sell. There you go. As much as I want the smoke bomb, I might as well get the fists of flame. Considering we're about to go out as Murray. It's Murray time! Oh hell yeah! He is flaming, apparently. Doop 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 doop. Hey there, mister! Would you like to get punched? It's, it's, see, it's funny because it's a rhetorical question. He got no choice in the matter. Running, running, hippo. Running, running, hippo. Shut up. I ain't got time for you. There we go. Give him the old hippo twirl. Good thing nobody can hear a hippo on the rooftops. Oh, and just in case you were wondering, yes. <laughs> Despite his size, Murray can, in fact, siddle with the best of them. That, that's that, that's that. Thunderflop! Bye! Well, that's a good. It's unfortunate that frogs can't swim, apparently. Then again, I mean, no one else can. Everyone in the Sly Cooper game can't swim either. I don't know why. Two of them are aquatic animals. Murray, I need you to make your way back to the aqua pump room and sabotage it. Jeez, I don't know. How am I supposed to get past these lasers? You should be able to break that power box by throwing something at it. Press the circle button to use the <gasps> stomp move near the ice machine to pick up a block of ice. Circle button! Then press the square button to throw the block at the power box. Hit the circle button to pick stuff up and the square button to throw. Got it. Yeah, good. I just gotta go over here and hit the circle button. Okay, well, that's not a nice block, but this should work, too. Or maybe it has to be a block of ice. Or I have to throw multiples? You're strong, Murray. Try picking up other stuff in the room. Like a box! Murray is indeed quite strong. Have t Do you guys have any idea how lethal hippos inherently are? Those things will kill you far more often than any crocodilio, let me tell you. Eat chair, monsters! Okay. Well, there's that guy. That are knocked out can be picked up with your stomp move. Throw something at that guard. Then jump up there and pick him up with the circle button. Ta-da! Eh, there we go. I didn't mean to throw him into the fireplace, but it was 
damn serendipitous and fortuitous that it happened. Acceptable parameters. I am okay with this. All right, well, if you'll excuse me, I would just... Oh, right, I actually need to equip my new ability. The Fists of Flame! They are... It's literally exactly what you think it is. It makes my punches even more punchier. You could say it gives my punches a bit more punch. Probably should have started with that one. <laughs> eh, well, I'm anything if not clever. Or, I'm anything if... Yeah, I'm, I'm anything if not... I'm not good at words! Toss the rats into that open water bay and plug up those pipes! Okay! In you go! And... Oh, oh, that's not really where I was going with that, but okay! And in you go! Totally not horribly murdering them by doing this. You know, I'm just stuffing a bunch of people into the sewage system. Underwater. Cramped together. Into a giant pump. That exploded. Hell yeah! That's a job well done for the Murray.